Welcome back in our small business spotlight, a local company hitting it big. Dolcezza Gelato has been cultivating close relationships with local farmers to create distinctive gelatos and sorbets. The husband and wife owners have formed lasting bonds with local farmers as they incorporate locally grown fruits, milks, eggs, and cheese into their product. But now that Whole Foods has started putting Dolcezza's sweet treats on the shelves in 44 of its stores around the country, we had to find out their recipe for success. It's been raining a lot. The strawberries are a little bit watery. They lack a little bit of sweetness and they lack a little bit of acidity. We, so we reduce the amount of water in our recipe. We add a little bit more sugar to make up for the sweetness and then we'll squeeze a little bit more fresh lemon to add up for the acidity of it. Really always searching for the, the, the balance, the harmony, but that's a moving point on the, on the graph, always within the balance, but it's never going to be the same exact thing. And I, I love that. It's a tiny DC-based company that makes finding the balance in business look easy. This is unbelievable, man. The husband and wife team started making gelato in their Georgetown store in 2004, a 300 square foot basement. Like for the last year and a half, we were scared to like lean up against anything just in the fear that it would collapse. Dolcezza has proven it's comfortable expanding. Today it has eight locations, including this 4,000 square foot factory and a huge new customer, Whole Foods. We did an analysis of our, you know, um, cost and, and what it would take and, and we look at our machinery and we have a huge production capacity now that we moved to this factory. So that was one of the goals to expand. And we worked on our menu to make sure that the flavors that we were offering were profitable for us, which was important, but at the same time making sure that the menu was, you know, representing who we were in terms of quality, in terms of, you know, the offering. The challenge expanding is keeping it real, staying true to the product and the passion, working very closely with local farmers. We have about seven growers that we work with, and we, we go out to their farm, we know their family, they come to our house, and so we really, that's a whole added dimension to this whole thing as far as one thing is the produce that they grow or the milk that they bring, but it's also getting to know them and the characters that are behind this fruit, this cheese, this milk, this herb that they bring to us. And it's such a, it, it's, it, it makes it so much more meaningful. Relationships keep Dolcesa grounded and ready for big league partnerships, relationships with farmers, customers, and mentors. They have a wonderful stepfather who was a businessman his whole life. And he helps me with absolutely everything and anything. He owns a paper plant with 500 employees and has a lot of experience. And I use him. He's 83, and I like I, he is my you know number one advisor and everything. Is it ready? Huh? Rob and his wife Violetta are proving that cultivating a healthy business, one with integrity, can translate from small wholesome relationships into big profitable ones. I want, I want you guys to try this. So follow me.